Hi, this is Carl with another SOP video for managed service providers. Today I want to talk about why you should never compete on price. First of all, what does it mean to compete on price? Well, you've seen it. People say, we're the low price leader or we are, we'll beat anybody's prices. Sometimes people make absurd claims. You've seen it in our industry. It's an absurd claim to say, oh, it's $25 for unlimited support per desktop. No, it's not. <laughs> we all know that's not true. So how do you take care of your business while competing? Here's what I encourage you to do. Stop attracting cheap customers. There are customers who are very price sensitive and it, it might be that they just can't afford actual good, solid tech support. It could be that they don't put value in what you do. You have to demonstrate the value. There may be people with lots and lots of money, but they don't see the value of your services. And so they become price sensitive. They might not normally be price sensitive, but they become price sensitive when they don't see the value in what you do. And if you're trying to compete with people who are pushing the price lower and lower and lower, then you have lots of problems. Let me give you an unusual truth that you might not think about at first. Your clients are as likely to leave because your competition is more expensive as they are to leave because you are too expensive. Here's what I mean. Your best customers, and you already know this, your best customers are not price sensitive. Your best customers want high quality. They want great service. And so if you keep your price stable or even lower it, you might reduce the perceived value of your services. And then if somebody else comes along and says, hey, for only $25 more per desktop, we'll give you this and this and this. Those people are competing by being more expensive and giving more value. And so your best customers could be lured away because of better customer service, better offerings, better bundles. So there's a, an irony in that you're trying to lower your price to keep customers and your best customers are lured away because of higher quality service. Now, ultimately, all service, customer service, managed service, maintenance, project labor, all service costs money. So you can't give higher customer service without somebody paying for that. In the end, if you are a little more expensive and you give even better service than the competition, you are more likely to keep your best customers because they are not price sensitive. I think a lot of people in this industry have unintentionally created a business that appeals to price sensitive customers. And that's why there's an entire chapter in managed services in a month about weeding your client garden. Whether you like it or not, you need to get rid of clients who can't afford you or who are not high quality clients that are willing to pay for better service. And I know a lot of people are fearful that they will lose money if they get rid of their lowest paying clients. Well, that's not true. In my experience, you will get rid of clients who are not very profitable, take a lot of support, and don't provide much in terms of supporting your recurring revenue. And what you will get instead is better clients who are less price sensitive, and they will do a much better job of supporting your needs for recurring revenue. So put that in the mix, think about it, and if you haven't raised your rates yet, remember, 2022 is the year of inflation. So if you haven't raised your rates yet, this is a great time to do it. Just make sure that you have a clear value proposition. 
so that people will say, oh, it's a little more expensive, but I get more for my money. For Small Biz Thoughts, this is Carl Palachuk wishing you the best of luck in everything you do.